Hello everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome. I am Jamie. Crafty Gaming Jamie because I like crafting, I like playing games. I am here today to do my January update and in case you have not noticed, the hair is not purple anymore. It is like this reddishy pinky color. Try and get in the light. I don't know. I mixed together red and pink because the purple had faded out. I needed to cover it up a little bit and this is what I got. It's almost like a little Valentine's holiday color. I don't know. We'll just say it's for Valentine's Day. Anyways, so I'm doing my January update now even though it's not the end of January because next week on the 29th Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. There has not been a main game to come out in the Kingdom Hearts series since 2006. That's when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. I am like a whole different person since that happened and I am just waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3. It's 2019. Kingdom Hearts 2 came out on PlayStation 2. We are now on the PlayStation 4. It's a long time! There have been like little side games, but they have not been the same progressing the story wise. Like they've had like little side stories, little like things that aren't as important as what's really going on. So yeah, after that comes out next week, I will be a little Keyblade warrior and little fighting little Disney worlds, getting rid of the darkness. So I figured I need to make my video now before I get consumed by Sora. Anyways, so I'll start off with the beginning of the year and in case you do not know I was using a random app to pick which projects I was working on. So on Monday I would start a project from the random app and then on Friday I would end it and I would do sampler Saturday Sunday and work on Death by Cross Stitch or Long Dog by the Long Dog Sampler or My Castles in the Air by Long Dog Samplers. But I will say right now that so far all three weekends in January I have worked on Death by Cross Stitch because I need to get it finished this year. So uh, January 1st through the 4th I worked on Fantastic Voyage which is by Amy Stewart charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I am stitching it on 28 count easy count 2 over 1 tent stitch and I will show here's where I am. I started at the bottom left corner and these are all partial pages because it's at the bottom of the chart but I finished this was page like 67, 68 and then I got like halfway through 69 so I finished two and a half pages that week that I worked on it and I will say that I did not end up working on it at all on Friday of the week that I worked on it because I started getting sick so I had like a day kind of that I missed because sick and grossness. And then January 5th through the 6th was the weekend, so that was my first sampler Saturday Sunday, and I was working on Death by Cross Stitch. I will insert a picture of where I got to on that, but I will say right now that I did not stitch at all Saturday because sick. And then on Sunday I did not get to stitch until Sunday night because I was still sick and all I did was stitch on some red metallics for my Targaryen dragons. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got done. Wasn't a lot, at least it was better than nothing. And then I spun my wheel for January 7th through the 11th, and I got Far Pavilion, which is also by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I am stitching this on a 25 count even weave from Hobby Lobby. There's Weigart Hobby Lobby brand stuff and I'm doing this two over one tent. I don't know if I said that. Did I say that? I started this one on the right side working down. I had already finished page nine which was this one before I had started working on it and I worked on page 18 and then page 27 and so I finished two pages while I was working on it that week and all that's left now to finish this column is to finish the pages right here and then there's like a really small page at the bottom and then this column will be done and I will say right now that this I did the random app before the video so that I would know what I'm working on next week so I could tell you like my little plans for like the next week this is what the random app picked for me to do 
starting next Monday. So on next Monday, I will be working on Fire Pavilions and I hope to finish, whoa, got my hair cut. I hope to finish this page and then the partial page. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that I can make time with Kingdom Hearts to do work on this. And then January 12th through the 13th, I worked more on Death by Cross Stitch. I will insert a picture of where I got to that weekend, which I'm not showing you the full thing right now because I worked on it three weekends, so I want to show you after each weekend's progress. So, Death by Cross Stitch again. I did my Baratheon Stag in black, and then I did quite a bit on page 10. Made some decent progress compared to the previous weekend. And then January 14th through the 18th, I worked on, it's like my least favorite project. It was obviously the random hat picked it for me. My least favorite project. It's my oldest project. It is Pinocchio Wishes Upon a Star by Thomas Kincaid. It's a kit from MCG Textiles, which are retired. They do not make these anymore. I like the way it's, it's stitching up. I don't like actually stitching on this chart. It's not my favorite. I'm stitching this on 18 count Ada that came with the kit with the floss that came with the kit. And I will show where I was before I started working on it. Here. And then this is where I got to working on it that week that I worked on it. All that's left now to do is like this blue part of the water. What I will say though that I am disappointed about is the, the floss that comes with the kit is like Candomar floss or something like that. And I ran out of one of the blues. And because it's a kit, I have been like very careful with my floss usage. I try and make sure that I'm not wasting any or anything like that. And I already ran out of a blue. And since I don't make these kits anymore, and I ended up just looking up a DMC conversion chart and finding a DMC that was similar color and I'm just using a DMC. If you can tell me which one's the DMC, I would be very surprised because it was a very close match. Like I compared it before I used it. They were very similar. It's just annoying when you buy a kit and it doesn't have the proper amounts of floss in it for you to actually complete the kit with the floss that comes with the kit. So that is, that is all. Also, I will say that I'm doing the French knots as I go, so French knots, back stitching, all that stuff because, like I said, this is not my favorite. Once I finish a page on this, I want to be done with the page, not have to go back and finish anything else, so that is my least favorite, I have to say. And that brings us to this past weekend where I was working on Death by Cross Stitch again, and I will say that this past weekend I did not get as much done as I would have liked to because Saturday I was doing my hair. When I'm doing my hair, it sits, like the dye sits in my hair for like a couple hours. While it's in my hair, I don't wanna be cross stitching because I don't wanna get dye on any of my projects. So, and then also my hands get really gross. Like I wear gloves. But even with gloves, like my nails get like dyed and then like if I touch my hair a lot of times even after I wash my hair, it still is like kind of running a little. It's not like running. Like if I were to like scratch on my hair, it would almost be like pink. It's gross. It's gross. If you've dyed your hair colors before, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a thing. Like if I were to wear a white shirt right now, it would probably be stained like pinkish around where my hair sits on it right now because the dye is still kind of like bleeding out of my hair a little bit. Anyways, so Saturday did not get much done because of the hair dye. And then on Sunday I went shopping. I got floss at the floss sale at Joann's, which I will be talking a little bit about later. I got floss for um, Far Pavilions and fantastic voyage like if i had if there was like multiple skeins that were called for in the chart when i kitted them up originally i only had gotten enough to start it and i did not buy the multiples so i went back and got multiples for the colors that needed it and then i 
I got a new chart. I'm not starting the chart obviously right now, but I got the floss for the chart that I bought, which I will talk about after I finish talking about my projects. Anyways, so Sunday I went to the floss Joanne's because it was 40% off your total purchase. So that was pretty good. And then I went shopping and some other stuff. So I wasn't really home Sunday. So I decided on Monday that instead of doing the random app to pick a project for me, that I would just keep working on Death by Cross Stitch because I wanted to make more progress. So I will show where I'm sitting at right now. This is where I'm at right now. Page 10 is finished. I think page 10 ended, I'm trying to figure out, page 10 ended like right around this part here. So like that. And I'm working on page 9 now, and I would like to get page 9 done, because once page 9 is done, then that means that half of the chart will be done. It's 16 pages, that means that I will have 8 pages completed, the bottom 8, all I'll have to do is the top 8. And so yeah, that is my goal for that. I'm stitching this using Silks For You in PR094, and I'm using one strand of that, so this is just one strand on 18 count Ada. And then for the metallics, these, the red, red and the black are DMC metallics and I am doing it how two over one, which like I said before, two strands of metallics, just, they're not pleasant to work with DMC metallics. And hold on. I have my floss that I'm using to show. This is the silks for you, a little thing of it. This is PR094, so it's like greeny, purpley blues. Pretty, very, very pretty. I love silks. I love silks for you. They're fun. They're soft. They're not metallics. And then my red metallic is, let's see what this is. It's DMC E815. It's like all ratty looking right now because I was just stitching with it today but yeah and then the other one is just a black DMC metallic so it's not too special and so my plan is to keep working on death by cross stitch until Friday to try and get as much of this page done as I can I'm working on the dragon now I want to get the dragon done because I hate the metallics like get the metallics out of the way then my plan is to finish this Thing in this motif and then work on the border here and then just keep working up and hopefully get somewhere so that is my death by cross stitch then monday i'd already told you i'll be working on far pavilions my amy stewart heaven and earth designs so those are my projects i don't know what's happening after that. I'm hoping that the next weekend after I work on Far Pavilions to work on Castles in the Air because I have missed working on Castles in the Air because I love, I love the fabric. That Huntress fabric is so beautiful. I did not, I don't have the project out right now but I can insert a picture so you can see where I'm at and all that good stuff. I've finished one page on it so far. There's only nine pages in the chart. Hopefully get somewhere on that. So, I will talk about, if you watch my previous video, you know that for 2019, my goal is to try and finish 30 pages of my charts for my 30th birthday that is happening this year in July. Yes, that's a long time away, but planning ahead because I can't do new starts this year and most people for their birthdays do new starts. Can't do that. So, so far I finished two pages on Fantastic Voyage, two pages on Far Pavilion, and one page on Death by Cross Stitch. So I have five pages finished so far in January. Yes! Five! Okay, so that's done. So the next thing I have to talk about is a purchase. It's a total, total impulse purchase that I, did, I didn't need to make it. There was no reason for me to buy this chart at all because like I'm doing no starts 2019 and I didn't just buy the chart but I bought like everything to go with the chart and it's like I'm not I'm not starting it why do I need to have everything 
but I turned into like Gollum or something when I saw the chart and I was just like, I need this. It's my precious, my precious. <laughs> and so it was a Mirabilia. I've never done a Mirabilia, Mirabilia before, but I've looked at them before because I've done, I did Queen Anne's lace and that had like beads and metallics and stuff and I, I like doing it. You know, I like beading, I like the metallics, I like pretty, pretty ladies, as fa people call them like fancy ladies. I like them, they're cool. I've just never really like been that interested in them before. And then I looked at them and I found one and I fell in love with this chart. And I kept telling myself like, I don't need to buy it now. There's no reason to buy it now. But then when Joanne had the floss sale, I decided like, I should buy the DMC for it because like it's on sale like why not buy the DMC and then after I bought the DMC for it I was like well then you need to buy the chart because like you don't want the chart to like go out of print or like become hard to find or I'm making excuses so that I can buy this chart and so I decided that I'd buy the chart and then I was like well if I'm buying the chart I might as, might as well like throw the beads and the specialty threads in because like you're already paying for shipping. <laughs> And then they had the fabric that I wanted because I went on Fabric Viewer and I like looked at all the different fabrics with the chart to see which one I would like to use with the chart. They had the fabric in stock. So I was like, why not just get it all then and you're only paying for like the shipping ones. And so I bought it all. I'll insert a picture of the chart when it all comes. I ordered it from 123stitch, so it will probably probably be here in like the next week. I will insert, I'll, I'll put pictures on like my Instagram or something probably, which my Instagram is the same as my YouTube channel, Crafty Gaming Jamie. And yeah, so I got my first Mirabilia coming in to me. It's on my, it's on the way with all the beads and the specialty floss and the fabric. And I'm so excited, even though I can't start it. So I'm just going to spend like the next like 11 months like my precious, my precious chart that I can't start. And then once like January 2020 comes, I'm just going to be like, Ugh. I'm going to be like ripping it out of the packaging and just ready to go. But yeah, so that is, I think all I have to update you on, on cross stitching and I don't know what I'm going to be doing cross stitch wise like I said next week because game coming out it is my game I've been waiting forever I have okay like this is like a total off tangent gaming thing so if you're not into games you may not be interested but like all the Kingdom Hearts games I have like on the original systems I have one and two on the PlayStation 2 I have all the DS ones for the DS the three DS ones the PSP ones and then I bought like all like the remastered PS4 ones I have played these games so many times and I am so ready now like I it got to a point where it was almost like is Kingdom Hearts 3 ever actually gonna come out like is this really a thing and then like they finally are coming out with it and it's just amazing it's amazing but yeah, so uh, I will be back sometime in February with hopefully a February update. Hopefully I get something done, something productive that's not just gaming. And I would like to also say thank you to everyone who watches, who likes, comments, subscribes. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.